How's it going everyone? This is Sam with another Eclipse Quick Tips and um, today I'm just going to show a couple of tips that I use when I'm uh, doing a, a document, when I'm transcribing. Uh, things that I, little tips and tricks that I use to make it easier on myself. Um, I'm just going to put up a real time and I'm just going to, I'm just going to write a couple of, couple of, couple of garbage. Sorry, it's hard for me to write and talk, so. I tried to do a the wrong sum, but I forgot that it actually is a sum. So let's say, blah blah, I'm writing whatever garbage, and let me do a, a just a random stroke, get a mistranslate. Oh, okay, there's a random stroke. Blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm going through the document, and I quickly realized I wrote the wrong sum. Um, the cool thing about um, Eclipse is that they do have a bunch of, you know, suggestions. So I could just hit the one button and be done with it and move on. Uh, first thing you may have noticed is I did make the background black uh, with white text because I find it's a lot easier on your eyes. Uh, my buddy Stan actually gave me the idea. He had it like that and I thought it was a great idea, so I went with it. And it's been great on my eyes. Um, so let's say, let's go, let's, let me undo. Oh, okay, let's just say this is back to, let me do it again with another sum. So let's say I have some stuff, you know, to do. Now let's say that I did the wrong sum. I'll go over it, and what I what I actually do to make it easier on my life, instead of deleting, and you know, like all oh, people will go like this, they'll delete, and then they'll just write sum, and then they'll move on. That's just way too much, and the problem with that is, now, there's no connection to the steno note anymore now that you deleted it. Let me undo that. Well, let me undo it either. Um, <laughs> let's write another one. So I have some stuff to do. I'll just go over it, hit G for global, write some, hit enter, and move on. Uh, most of you people, when you global, uh, when you hit enter, it'll send it straight to your main dictionary. What I ended up doing is changing it. So if you go to Alt-U, and I'm pretty sure you go, not programming, uh, edit. If you go down here where I put dictionary and cap dictionary, I change them both to local. So by default, it'll just change that specific one. So let's, you know, so if I write some again, you know, I have some stuff to do. It won't come up because I didn't put it in my main dictionary. But what I can do is change that one or better yet just add it to my job dictionary so control J would go to your job and control M would go to your main so if I hit control J and if you pay attention to this sum right here it'll change it throughout the transcript so I hit control J bam. so if you have a, a name like mister I don't know mister I'll go mister R and then the whole the whole time you're like mister R mister R and you want to just make it mister mister Robert Roberts or something. So you can just hit G, change that to Mr. Roberts, and hit Control J. And it'll change it throughout your transcript. I find it a lot easier than deleting one specific thing. And what else? Another thing I did for untranslate, for this one that I did a random stroke on, if you remember earlier, uh, I just wrote, uh, I just put whatever, S K U F M. So uh, it, it thinks custom. That's what's trying to guess what I might have done. And let's, like I said, let's say none of this, were, none of these were the choices, and I meant to say, I don't know. It's just Super Bowl, or say transcript. I meant to say transcript. God knows why I wrote that, but I'll just hit G on it, transcript, because I don't want to put it in my job dictionary. I didn't do it often. It was just that one time, so I just finish it and then move on. Uh, so. Light blue is what I do for if I, I write it manually, which I don't do often. Another thing, like if I do for a conflict choice, like an AI conflict choice, so, you know, I have a choice to make. I make, I made uh, A and a and the same thing, because I always mess that up. So it's pretty good at doing that. So it'll go gray, 
when it makes a choice. So it's gr for, I have green for garbage that I just write out like that. And if it tries to guess, it'll turn out green. And battery's done. Gray for uh, uh, AI choices. And the way that you do that, if you go to Alt U and you go to Display, and you go to Color Selections, you'll be able to select your backgrounds. So um, I can't remember exactly which one is the traditional text. Pretty sure it's one of these. But what you want to do is you make the background black and the the foreground white for the text. So over right here, if then translates, I made it green foreground and black background to match to match that. Because if I I don't, I make that a white background. You'll see when I do it on translate. Well, because it doesn't matter because the background's black anyways. Well, I didn't do it. Untranslate, let me see. So I do like untranslate. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because the background's already black. Oh, never mind. But find what you what's good for you. I suggest for sure to do that, um, the local dictionary. It makes it a lot easier. You can throw what you need to the main dictionary to your job, and it's easier to just, it's way easier to just hit G and change it. You know, changes to a stroke, and the good thing is, it stays connected to the steno notes, and that's that's way easier to do. And I've I've actually gotten down to five minute tests being done in 15, 20 minutes scoping, and then I spend the rest of the the time just punk, punk proofreading, punctuating, and all that. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this helped. Sorry for writing so much garbage. Had to make. It's the kind of example, so you guys have a good day.